Hey, it's Joe Dirt's cousin. I think I found me a meteorite. I found it over there about 20 years ago. Here is my scientific theory that this is not a concretion, but is actually either a meteorite from another planetary body, maybe something that was ejected from Earth a long time ago, which went to the solar system and returned, or possibly can be something that fell out of a smelter or blast furnace. And I'm going to go through some aspects of why I believe this is a meteorite. First, we have red maglips or thumbprints, they call them. In these photos here, you can see material on the edges. Not like weathering caused this, because you can see the material is even moving in one direction on these edges. Secondly, there's movement of material right here, almost like a tributary. We have contraction cracking. These photos are slowly enlarged. You can see the platelets where they have moved. And if you really look at it long enough, you can even start moving them back into position from where they slid from. And the reason I say this is pulling with contraction cracking is because I found a paper called Fusion Crust Simulation and Search for Martian Sediments on Earth. And one of their tests was on hematite. And it said the samples of the hematite produced a smooth, dull black milk that pulled in places and closely resembled the fusion crust of iron meteorites. Now you can you can tell this this has a fusion crust or it looks like any other concretion except after it fractured here's the fractured area of this rock in this area right here where the circle is this is all these is only in this one area you have these small gaseous bubbles I'm calling them as they slowly enlarge, you can see the pock marks where the bubbles used to be before they burst. And we have a secondary, after it fractured, it possibly was still burning, which caused this on the rear side. But you have a secondary fusion crust in this area right here. And if you look closely, this is a, a small indentation that goes down like a V and you can see this little blackened area here like it was coming across burning this way right here so we have secondary fusion crust fusion crust and a little bit of burn here and then we have the bubbles on the on the fracture side which was staying pretty much out of the way of everything that was blowing by it now I also have on this piece here a white material that I, this is my guess, this is whatever cemented the hematite grains together, say through this piece here. This is a piece that, this is the same piece as this, but I have sawn it off. And this white matrix is about a half inch thick runs the whole length from the fracture side which is here which is the piece that's cut off runs all the way to the front and is about a half inch thick and about this wide and it ends up here which is my impact on a possible putty-like consistency i'm going to guess it wasn't didn't have time to totally solidified before it impacted. 
as you can see we have cupping right here you got about two or three lines we sent two rovers to mars to look for hematite because one of the rovers opportunity landed somewhere in this area here close to the crater called Bopolu. And if you look at the photo, this is hematite area here. If you look, you can see the excavated material way far away from this crater. And this was 3.4 billion years ago. So what did this hematite region look like 3.4 billion years ago? And I believe Opportunity found blueberries, which are small balls of hematite, um, which I believe is the ejecta from Bopolu. So it is possible that this stone may have come from this region here. This is, was the moment where I was like, this cannot be a concretion. Because this, this right on the bottom here is exactly how I found it. You can see movement of material here. And you can see the cupping lines right through here. And the moment I stuck this up and balanced it on there, you can almost balance it with one hand. And you can almost find a trajectory of when it hit. This piece weighs over 70 pounds. And you can see the white. White Matrix still in there. The reason I'm doing this YouTube video is to maybe try to get this out there and maybe get some feedback. Maybe laboratories that do testing, costs of the testing, um, any, any helpful advice. Because it's been 20 years and I'm going to keep at it. 